Buongiorno and welcome to Apicius, International School of Hospitality. My name is Andrea Trapani and as usual I'm going to propose a classic of Tuscan cuisine. It's called chicken liver pate or crostino toscano in the Italian language. The ingredients that I'm going to use are finely chopped onion, capers under vinegar, anchovies filet, obviously the chicken liver, as you can see they've been marinating into a water and vinegar solution. It's about two parts of water, one part of vinegar, and of course the Tuscan bread, well known to be saltless. I'm ready to cook. I'm gonna start my recipe by heating some extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna add my finely chopped onion and I'll saute it on a medium low heat until it becomes golden in color. Okay, once the onion reached a nice golden color, I'm ready to add my previously marinated chicken liver. I'm gonna saute the chicken liver until they completely change their color, until they become slightly brown on the surface. Now, once my liver are properly seared, I'm gonna season with salt and a pinch of pepper. Right after, I'll sprinkle with white wine and let it evaporate completely. The use of wine will help to remove the fried flavor of the onion being cooked in the beginning and it will also give a nice touch of acidity. Now, once my wine has completely evaporated, I'm ready to add capers, anchovy filet, which I'm gonna mix in and allow to dissolve completely. At this point, I'm gonna add some good chicken stock and I allow to simmer my liver mixture for about 15 minutes. Great, my mixture is ready. At this point, I'm gonna turn off the heat, add a little piece of butter, which will help give a nice creaminess to our pate. Allow to dissolve the butter completely into the liver mixture. Once the butter has completely dissolved, I'm gonna transfer my mixture into a container. I'm now gonna puree it to obtain a nice smooth paste. Okay, the texture looks great, but let's taste it, yeah? Buonissimo! Okay, I'm now ready to shape my crostini. Let's see how I do it. I'm gonna take the previously toasted Toscan bread into thin slices. Simply spread my liver pate on top of it into a quite thin, but not too thin layer. I garnish simply with a little caper and I'm gonna plate it. I'm gonna serve three crostini per portion. This is obviously a starter, very typical of this cuisine. It's a dish that is easy to find in any trattoria or any regional restaurant menu. Okay, my dish is ready to be served. Okay, I'm gonna match my dish with the Santa Cristina Le Maestrelle 2010. It's a Sangiovese based wine with a typical red fruit flavor. It matches perfectly to my Crostino Toscana. E buon appetito!